Hi guys, today we're going to do two different climbs. Okay, it's going to be difficult, I think, because we are beginners, but we want to find those slopes that are good for us to do the climbing training, such that uh, we can get to train our leg muscles as well as our heart muscles. And climbing is really one good way to do so. Really looking forward to today's climb and see if they work out for you as well. Let's go. Okay, so we have reached uh, somewhere near Changi Village. It is uh, we're here to do some climbs. So uh, we found that there are actually a few few slope areas and some some hilly areas. So we will do a look around here and see whether we can take it or not. Okay, heart rate is good at the start at 126. Whoa! So sharp a turn. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, we're getting ready. After this, we're going to Handong. Handong Hill. Handong Climb. Let's have a bit of fun till I down My love, if you feel like I do right now, don't say you're wrong. Attack after the next pump. Let's go. Woo. Oh, get ready the gears. Okay, actually it's already starting to be difficult from here, even at the start. And I cannot go for. <laughs> okay, start now. No talking. end of commando run commando ride <sighs> oh, that's quite sick
go. Round one, finished. This is the Meebok that I've been eating since I'm young. Since I was young. It used to be in Jalan Gokong, but now it has shifted here to Simbang. Simbang Buru. Okay. The chili is very short. Jalan Tokong Mibo. Mibo can try. Alright, we are done with the two climbs and we've, that we have found in the east area and now let us look at the data that we have collected. For the commando climb, the distance is 3.3 kilometers altogether and they are all together about 2.5 climbs. Now what is 2.5? Because one of them is actually quite um, gentle so we consider that half a climb. And the elevation gain, total elevation gain is 64 meters Time taken to complete the whole loop is 9 minutes 45 seconds and the calories burned is 160. Average heart rate for me was 161 and the maximum heart rate was 184. That is very close to my maximum heart rate. All right. Whereas for the Anglican climb, the distance is 1.9 kilometers, slightly shorter. Number of climbs is 3. Elevation gain is 40 meters and the time taken to complete one loop is 5 minutes and 50 seconds. And the calorie burn is 100. Average heart rate was similar at 161. Uh, however, the maximum heart rate was slightly lower at 179. So that was a little bit more easy for my heart. Alright, so... Um, for us, we did some reputations on the two different climbs. For the commando climb, we did actually three reputations altogether, and that is a total of 9.9 .9 kilometers cover, 7.5 climbs, 192 meter elevation gain. The time taken with two minutes of rest in between each reputation is total of about 33 minutes or 34 minutes. 
A calorie burn is 480. Average heart rate, the same 161, and maximum heart rate is 184, the same. As for the Anglican climb, we did four repetitions with two minutes of rest in between each rep. And the total distance cover is 7.6 kilometers. The number of climbs total is 12 climbs. Elevation gain is 160 meters. Time taken is about 29 minutes and 20 seconds. Calorie burn, 400. Average heart rate, 161. And maximum heart rate, 179. So after the two different climbs, personally, my preference would be the commando climb. Okay, why do I prefer the commando climb more than the Anglican climb? It is because I find that it is more fun to ride in that area because there are a lot of old houses as well as a lot of trees, a lot of, uh, a lot of greeneries, and the traffic is actually very slow. There is not many cars in the area. I went there in a Monday morning and uh, it was quiet and serene. So I really like that and it makes the climbs, uh, the, the suffering a lot more bearable. All right, and, and the final stretch of the climb at uh, Hendon, on the Hendon Road is really, really shock. You have to try for yourself to know it. All right, I, the Anglican climb is not that bad as well. It's just that it is, uh, it is it is in the landed property area where there are just houses around. So if you're going to do a few more reputation there, you, it may start to get dry and uh, traffic can be a little bit more uh, busy at times because there are a lot of cars driving in and out. So we have to be uh, very careful and watch out for the cars. So well, that's, that's what I uh, don't really like about it. But for training wise, it's really good because it is near to my workplace. So for me, it's very convenient. So that is the, that's my take on the two different climbs. And so if you really want to have a really uh, hard climb, maybe you can go for the commando climb. Uh, if you want to have an easier one, you can go for the Anglican climb. And if you are still not ready for any climbs, go and find some flat roads such as the, maybe try the Tanamera Coastal Road or the East Coast Park where you can actually train up your uh, leg, your, your, your main, perfect your cadence, start to get your um, leg muscles ready for the ride and if you are able to get an average speed for about like 20, 20 to 24 kilometers per hour I think you can actually try to get some uh, go to some hilly areas and try the climbing so it's really really fun okay why do we want to do climbing uh, trainings it is because that it actually helps our leg to become much stronger and much faster Okay, that is one important thing. And most importantly, it helps our heart, this piece of muscle here, to make it stronger. And because ultimately, we want to have a strong heart. That's why we're actually been monitoring the heart rate all the time. Uh, we want to progressively train our heart and put it into a good workout. But do remember, don't overwork your heart. The last thing we want you to have is a cardiac arrest. Okay, so that's why it's very important to get yourself a heart rate monitor to consistently check on your heart rate and know that you are not pushing your heart too hard. <laughs> uh, okay, so there are a couple of uh, devices available in the market right now to help you do this job. And one of them is like uh, this, what we get is like a heart, a heart rate monitor band where you can actually strap it around your chest to monitor your heart rate. It's linked to uh, different apps or even your, the, the bicycle GPS itself. All right, or you can get Fitbits, okay, various uh, various models of Fitbits, Garmin, or even the cheapest option you have is like a Mi Band, those where you can get for like $20, $30, and they work really well. So as long as you get yourself something that uh, can give you the heart rate, and it should be accurate enough so that you know that you're at the right zone. But if you don't know where is the right zone or what is your maximum heart rate limit, refer to this chart for the guideline of your heart rate. All right, so last thing is uh, I want to do a little bit of a rating for these two climbs. Okay, though our data base is really, really small, at this point of time, we have only completed two different routes, okay? And that is these two routes. But out of these two routes, I'm going to give some rating. To me, the commando climb is four out of five stars. Yes, it is a very enjoyable climb for me. 
even though I'm still a newbie for climbing and for uh, road bikes, but I would say that I really enjoy myself throughout the ride uh, at the commando climb. And for Anglican climb, simply because of the, uh, it is just less fun. So I'm giving it three stars, but all these ratings will be adjusted as we increase our database as we go for more different rides and more different climbs okay so do give us some suggestion of different climbs that you have experience uh, around the island in singapore so that we can go there and experience it for ourselves as well okay. should we do a 60 minute climb challenge 60 minute that is like eight six eight rounds oh that that, that is that is very short okay i'll do a 60 minute climb challenge if we get 60 likes <laughs> all right if we get 60 likes for this video we will do a climb challenge that's very easy target to meet okay guys so if you want to see me suffer that will be uh, 60 likes we're looking at otherwise okay i'm just going to stick with my comfortable 30 minute climb remember to like and subscribe to our channel and look forward to seeing you for more different and fun rides